audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. You know, there are some people, when you hang around with them, they're just a joy to be with. Hmm. I wonder if God's like that. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to the program as we finish up this week by taking a look at the very presence of God in your life from a different perspective. There are some people in life who can really get you down. And yet, there are others, well, you just love to get together with them. There's something about them. They get it. They understand us. They encourage us. They engage with us. You know the sort. You look forward to having a cup of coffee or catching up with them for lunch. There's a real joy to the encounter. Being in their presence fills us with something that, well, there's probably just one word for it. Joy. If that's true of people, imagine what it must be like with God. Let me tell you about a friend of mine. His name is Tony. Tony is a tall, gangly sort of guy with curly red hair. He's someone who's so full of the joy that comes from having a relationship with Jesus. And Tony and I somehow just click. He understands me. He understands the call that God's put on my life, the the gifts I have, and my limitations as well. And he spends time with God. He, He spends time praying. He understands who God is. And Tony lets that change him inside. Tony and I get together probably, I don't know, once every two or three weeks for a cup of coffee or a sandwich and and just talk together, just share what's going on in our lives and our work. And I come home and my wife, Jackie, will often ask me, so uh, what did you two guys talk about? (laughs) And I always say, oh, I don't know, stuff, nothing, everything. You know, women seem to be able to get together pretty well for cups of coffee from time to time, and and we men seem not to do that so much. And it's just wonderful to have a friend like Tony who I can spend some time with, and it's so encouraging. It's so much fun. And we may not talk about anything substantial at all. Somehow he, he ministers something into me, and I know he feels the same about our relationship. The relationship brings real joy to my life. Tony's presence the personality, who he is. Okay, none of us is perfect, but this guy does something for who I am. It's kind of the same idea with God's presence. I often ponder about God being God, Spirit, and creating the universe and and the stars and the world and and putting you and me here in the middle of this world full of joy and pain and, and laughter and tears and I don't know, it's his way, it's his space that he's chosen for us to put us on this world. And and then he brings Jesus onto this world, God's son. And his 12 disciples followed him around for three and a half years. And you can see that it was a real joy in their lives to have a relationship with Jesus. But Jesus said to them, I'm going to die. And he did. He died on the cross. He was crucified to pay for, for my sins, my weaknesses and yours. And then he rose again and he met with them again and and then he ascended into heaven. And he said, I won't leave you as orphans. I'll send someone else just like me. And his promise was and, and still is for anyone who places their trust in this Jesus that he would send his Holy Spirit and that Father, Son and Holy Spirit would dwell inside each one of us. It's an exciting thing. Now, just after this happened for the first time, just after Jesus ascended, and a little while later, for the very first time, God poured his spirit out on Jesus' followers. They were touched, well, in an amazing way, when they experienced the presence of God in a real, tangible way, the the way that I experience Tony's presence when we sit down and have a sandwich or, or a cup of coffee. And other people that were watching, they they looked at this and went, wow, I wonder what they've been smoking. Maybe maybe they're drunk. What's going on here? What's the matter with these people? And Peter, the apostle, got up and and he he said, listen, they're not drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. And he quoted a psalm that was written about a thousand years before. And in part, he said this, God, your presence fills me with joy. And he said to the people, that's what's going on. God's presence His reality, his very being has fallen on these people and has come to dwell in them for the very first time. And now, as I said before, everyone who says Jesus is mine, I believe that Jesus died for me 
to pay the price of all my failures and to give me eternal life. Everyone who places their faith in Jesus receives that same presence, the very presence of God. And yet, you know, a lot of people kind of deny that in their lives. A lot of people don't connect with God dwelling in them. Maybe it never sinks in. Maybe, I don't know what it is, but this is such an opportunity. God reached into the world, into history, in the person of Jesus, and he is still doing that today in his presence inside everybody that believes Jesus, the spiritual presence of the Holy Spirit. This week on A Different Perspective, we've been talking about the fact that we all need times of refreshing. Here we are in life with all its ups and downs and all its noise and everyone's screaming out it for our attention and the cacophony of sound and all the stuff that's going on in my life and going on in your life. And 70% of people, in the West at least, believe in God. And so often, so sadly, people hold those two things separately in their lives. This is my life. God lives in church. God doesn't belong in my life. Over these last five days on a different perspective, we've gone through five different places where God talks about the fact that he wants to refresh us by his spirit. If you have a pen and paper, quickly jot these down. They're Bible references. Oh, Bernie, why are you talking about the Bible again? I'll tell you why. Because in that book, God tells us how much he loves us and how much of a difference he wants to make in our lives. The first thing we talked about was Acts chapter 3 and verse 20, where it says times of refreshing come from God's presence. Then there was Psalm 46, where God says, Be still. In all the noise and all the drama and everything that's going on, be still and know that I'm God. And then we looked at what Jesus said in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Come to me, he said. If, if you're tired, if you're carrying heavy burdens, come to me. Let me give you rest for your souls. And then yesterday we looked at Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Wait on God. Those who wait on God will renew their strength. They will soar like an eagle. And today, Acts chapter 2, verse 28. It's in the New Testament, the book of Acts, where Luke writes, God, your presence fills me with joy. If you have a Bible, go, go look them up. If you don't and you're on the internet, go to a website called BibleGateway.com. All one word, BibleGateway.com. What are we waiting for? Why is it that we hold these two things so separately in our lives? My life's over here, God's over there. When over and over and over again, God's saying this, I want to make a difference for you. I want to make your life better. I want to make your life richer. I want to give you peace. I want the relationship that we can have because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. I want that to give you a stunning life. A life that's really worth living. What are we waiting for? Why don't we spend more time with God? Why don't we ask him to fill us, give us a double helping, fuller than full of his presence, overflowing with joy and with peace. Jesus is waiting to meet our deepest needs, to fill us with joy and peace, to refresh us, to renew us. Come on, what are we waiting for? say is what makes the world go round. Huh, fair enough. But sometimes we don't feel loved and sometimes we struggle to share love with those around us. It's not easy. That's why I'd love to send you a free copy of my latest booklet, Love Is. And with the life application questions at the end of each chapter, you'll be able to chew things over, to, to really apply God's Word right into the realities of your life. Because God's Word, man, it is alive and active. Amen? So I'm praying that through this simple booklet, He'll help you experience His love and share His love. You can request your free copy right now. Just stop by at ChristianityWorks.com or give us a call toll-free on 1300 722 415 and we'll send it straight out to you in the post. Again, that's ChristianityWorks.com or 1300 722 415. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. 
I'm Bernie Diamond, and I'll catch you again same time on Monday with a different perspective. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au. 